Okay, so first example is a school exhibition was held for four days in a school. The number of tickets sold at the counter on the first, second, third and last day was 1094, 1812, 2050 and 2751 respectively. Find the total number of tickets sold on all four days. So what is given in this question that a book exhibition was held in a school for how many days? For four days and uh, number of tickets also given that were sold on the first day, second day, third day and fourth day. So we have to find the total number of tickets that were sold on all four days. So what we do in this question? We add all the number of tickets. When you add all the number of tickets, you got the answer that is 7,707. Okay. So next is Royal Bookstore sold books worth 385,891 <clears throat> in the first week of August and books worth 4,760. Eight in the second week of month. How much was the sale for the two weeks together? In which week was the sale greater and by how much? So what is given? That how many books are sold in the first week of August? That is 3,85,891 and in the second week of month? 4,768. Now what we have to find that how much was the sale for the two weeks together means dono week may kitni sale hui hai. that is we have to find. So what we have to do we add the sale of two weeks together. When we add the sale of two weeks together then we get a our answer that is 7,86,659. Now, the next part is we have to find that in which week was the sale greater. Means, kis week mein sale jo hai, wo sabse zada hui hai. And by how much or kitni. So, what will we do in, the, in this question? As you know, sale during the first week of August is 3,85,891 and sale during the second week of August 4,768. So in which week the sale was greater? In August, second week of August the sale was greater. Now, now we have to find that how much. So what we will do? We subtract these two. When we subtract these two, we get our answer that is 14,877. Next question is find the difference between the greatest and least number that can be formed using digits 8, 2, 7, 4, 3 with each digit coming only once. So what will we do in this question? So we have to find the difference between greatest and smallest number that can be formed by using these five digits. So the greatest number is when we use these digits the greatest number is 887,432 and by using these five digits we will make smallest number that is 23,478. Now we will find the difference between these two numbers by subtract. So the answer is 63,954. Next is a machine on an average manufactures 3,215 screws a day. How many screws did it produce in the month of January 2009? Now we have to tell that how many screws did produce in the month of January 2009. As you know, in the month of January, there are 31 days. 
So number of days in the month of January that is 31 and number of secures produced in the month of January that is 3215. So we multiply both and we get our answer that is 99665. Next is a merchant had 88,592 with her. She placed an order for purchasing 40 videos games, video games at Rs. 1200 each. How much money will remain with her after the purchase? Now what is given that a merchant had 88,592 money. So, and she want to purchase 40 video games and cost of one video game is 1200. Now first of all we find the cost of 40 video games. Then we multiply 40 by 1200 and we get the answer that is 48,000. Now how much money merchant had? Merchant had 88,592. And she spent 48,000 to purchase 40 video games. Now, how much money will remain? What will we do? We subtract 48,000 from 88,592. And the answer is 40,592. Next is to stitch a shirt. 2 meter 15 centimeter cloth is needed. Out of 40 meter cloth, how many shirts can be stitched and how much cloth will remain? Now, what is given that to stitch a shirt? We want to stitch a shirt, only, only one shirt. For this, we need 2 meter 15 centimeter cloth and total cloth is 40 meter and we have to find how many shirts we can stitch and how much cloth will remain after stitching the shirts. In this question we divide 40 meter by 2 meter 15 centimeter. Before this first of all we convert the units. 2 meter 15 centimeter is equal to 215. You know that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter and 2 meter is equal to 200 centimeter. So 200 centimeter plus 15 centimeter is equal to 215 centimeter. Now we convert 40 meter into centimeter that is equal to 4000 centimeter. So after that we divide 4000 with 215 and uh, we get the quotient as you see the Dividation, the quotient is 18, 18 and remainder is 130. So, 18 shirts can be stitched and 130 centimeter will remain that is equal to 1 meter 30 centimeter. The next is the distance between the school and the house of a student is 1 kilometer 875 meter. Every day she walks both ways. Find the total distance covered by her in 6 days. So what is given? The distance between the school and the house that is 1 kilometer 875 meter and she walks both ways. So we have to find the total distance covered by her in 6 days. First of all we have to find the distance covered by her by the student in 1 day. That is 3750 means we multiply 1, uh, one kilometer 875 meter by 2. First of all we convert 1 kilometer 875 meter into meter as you know 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter and 1000 meter plus 875 meter is equal to 1875 meter so when we multiply it by 2 its answer is 37 
150. So now we find the total distance covered in 6 days then we multiply it by 6 and we get the answer that is 22,500 meter. Next is a large tanker of capacity 15 kilometer 500 liter is full of petrol. How many petrol pumps can be supplied each with the capacity of 720 liter of petrol? Now what is given that we have a larger tank tanker and the capacity of large tanker 15 kiloliter 500 liter so we have to find that how many petrol pumps can be supplied each with the capacity of 720 liter of petrol now what will we do in this question we divide first of all we convert 15 kilometer 500 liter into liter its answer is 15,500 liter. Now capacity of each petrol pump is given that is 720 liter. When we divide both we get the answer that is 21. So as you see in the dividation 21 is the quotient and 38 is the remainder. So 21 petrols can be supplied with the petrol. Here Exercise is given and you have to solve this exercise 